Based on formal charges, which of the Lewis structures shown below is the most likely structure of CH4O? A. Structure 1 B. Structure 2 or C. Structure 3 All of these structures follow the octet or duet rule. All of the hydrogen atoms have only one single bond. This carbon atom has an octet. So does this oxygen atom, and this carbon atom, and this oxygen atom, and this carbon atom, and this oxygen atom. So how do we determine which structure best resembles reality? In general, the most feasible structure is one where all the atoms have zero formal charge. Let's examine these structures. A hydrogen atom has a zero formal charge if it has only one single bond and it doesn't have a lone pair. This is the case in all structures. For example, in structure one, every one of the hydrogen atoms has a single bond. This, the same is true for structures two and three. How about carbon? A carbon atom has a zero formal charge if it has four bonding pairs and does not have a lone pair. That's not the case in structures one and three. In structure one, it has three bonding pairs, one, two, three, and one lone pair. In structure three, it has only two bonding pairs, one, two, and two lone pairs. In structure two, carbon has four bonding pairs. One, two, three, four. How about oxygen? An oxygen atom has a zero formal charge if it has two bonding pairs and two lone pairs. Again, we can see that this is the case in structure two, but not in structures one and three. Therefore, structure two is the only structure shown here where all the atoms have a zero formal charge. The correct answer is B, structure two. Here's a quick review for calculating formal charges. A carbon atom by itself has four valence electrons. In structure one, it appears to own five. Two in the lone pair and one from each of the three bonding pairs. Remember that for purposes of calculating formal charge, an atom is assigned ownership of half of the shared electrons. Therefore, the carbon atom in structure one appears to have gained one electron. Its formal charge is negative one. The formal charges for carbon and oxygen in structure one are negative one and positive one respectively. For structure two, they're both zero. For structure three, the formal charges are negative two and positive two. Structures with formal charges of positive two or negative two are very unlikely to resemble reality.